Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. Um, also, I wanted to say I'm, I am feeling a little bit sick, so if my voice sounds different, that's the reason why. <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cold or flu. I don't know which one it is. But anyway, let's get started. <clears throat> I'm going to get some oracle cards for you first. These are color cards with messages. General messages. <clears throat> All right, spirit angels and guys, what message or what messages does Virgo need to know? All right, here we have gold attract abundance. Gold attract abundance. Okay, we also have jade take action. Jade, take action. And we have lavender, connect to body, mind, and soul. Lavender. Hmm. I'm getting something about like health. Mm, health. Connecting to nature, needing to connect to nature. <clears throat> so some of for some of you, I feel like um, spirit is telling you to to go out more, um, to to get fresh air, to to take walks, go on go on long walks here, out on out in nature, just to kind of reinvigorate yourself and replenish yourself. Because I feel like, um, for some of you, I feel like your health is not that great. For some reason, I'm getting your health is not that great currently for some of you. And I feel like this would really help. Just kind of um, de-stressing yourself. Some of you need to like release stress from your body. And the best way to do that is, you know, going out on walks or just you know, trying to connect more to nature and having that time alone to yourself. Yeah, okay. So that's that's what I'm getting there. <clears throat> Sorry, that was my chair. All right. Give me a second. I feel like there's something else here. Let me use the tarot cards. Hmm. Some of you need to get um, vitamin C, I feel. Need to get more vitamin C. <laughs> and stop thinking or stop overthinking things. Try to kind of um, distract yourself with, with nature. Hmm. <clears throat> Anything else here for Virgo in regards to this energy here, spirit? Jade and lavender. Oh, the Four of Cups. <clears throat> That's interesting. This is like a nature card because you can see in the back there's a tree. And this person is sitting um, on a grass field. So yeah, I feel like there's something about you needing to kind of let go of your worries, let go of your stress. You have too many things on your mind. And I do feel like there's a relationship here that's really um, consuming a lot of your energy. 
So yeah, hug a tree is what I just said, uh, is what I just heard. <laughs> I'm hearing like hug a tree, that can be really healing. And like I said, just um, be out in nature, be out in, in the open, get fresh air. Hmm. All right, we'll see if there's anything else about that with the tarot cards. Let's look at your person and let's see what their current feelings are. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's current feelings for Virgo? What are this person's current feelings for Virgo? Whoever Virgo is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. <clears throat> their current feelings for you virgo we have the knight of wands we have the devil oh geez what kind of combination is that so obviously you're dealing with a player no wonder you're stressed out look at this this person has intense intense energy could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Could be a Capricorn. Hmm. So this is someone who's definitely um. There's a lot of sexual energy here attached to this person. <clears throat> I feel like this person wanted you for. The purposes of you know. Having a sexual relationship with you. Nothing more, nothing less. <clears throat> That's what's on their mind currently. Currently, <clears throat> What are this person's current feelings for Virgo? Tell me more. Oh, geez. What is this? Seven of Swords. This person is getting like all the bad cards. Devil and the Seven of Swords. This person is pissed also, by the way. Devil and the Seven of Swords. This person is pissed off. Really upset and angry. Because you're ignoring them. We have Four of Cups here in your energy. <clears throat> you're ignoring this person. You're ignoring them. You're not calling them. You're not chasing them. Or if they're calling you or if they're messaging you, you're not responding to them. You're not returning any of their calls. You're not giving them any sort of attention. And they're pissed. Because it does look like this person tried to get your attention. I don't know, multiple ways, in various ways. Um, in ways that have been obvious and ways that have not been so obvious you know but i f i feel like this person was expecting you to be chasing them by now or like reaching out to them by now and you haven't Tell me more about this person's current feelings for Virgo spirit. <laughs> King of Cups. Oh, geez. What a contradiction. King of Cups. King of Pentacles, look at that, complete contradiction. And the Four of Pentacles at the bottom chariot. Oh no, is this two people? Why do two people always show up in your, in your readings? <coughs> this could be the same though, actually. For some reason, I'm actually feeling it like it's the same. King of Cups and King of Pentacles. Give me a second here.
Yes, this person had a plan and it backfired. Whatever they were trying to do here, it backfired. Um, in regards to trying to get your attention and trying to get you to chase them or to like um, message them or text them or call them. It didn't work out and I feel like this person is um, changing their strategy or thinking about changing their strategy. Let me clarify this. Tell me about the King of Cups spirit. Okay. All right. Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person is definitely ch thinking about changing up their strategy. Um, they're thinking. Uh, they're thinking about, or they're considering, showing you, a, showing you a much more emotional side to them, a much more vulnerable and emotional side to them. Mm hmm. All right, what's the Knight of Wands spirit? Ace of Cups, Devil, Seven of Swords. This person definitely tried to replace you with someone else. They definitely tried to replace you. They definitely had some other option that they were entertaining. They were hoping that would make you jealous so I don't know if they were like publicizing, you know, like on, in social media that they were with someone else or they kind of ghosted you or they stopped talking to you, hoping that that would make you think that they're with someone else and it would cause you jealousy. This person was trying to provoke jealousy in you in some way. But that didn't, that didn't work. Or it might have worked. You just kind of kept it to yourself. For some of you, I know it's not all of you, but for some of you, it, you know, because you are showing up as the Four of Cups. So some of you have been feeling really frustrated with this person. Let me clarify that Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups in Virgo's energy. Yeah. Definitely. You've been feeling very frustrated and, you know, upset and disappointed with this person. What's the Four of Cups in Virgo's energy? Emperor. Yeah, you've been keeping it together with the Emperor. This is you keeping it together, you know, maintaining control, showing control. Definitely, um... Definitely keeping your feelings to yourself. You don't want you don't want to give this person any ideas that they can come towards you and, and emotionally manipulate you, you know? They don't want the, you don't want this person to get any ideas of, of trying to emotionally manipulate you. So I do feel like you've been kind of, you know, keeping it together and staying strong, holding strong, not showing any type of Emotion and not showing any type of reaction. So it's like you know, you know this person is trying to get a reaction out of you and you're not, and you're making sure that you don't give them that reaction that they're looking for. Deep down inside, you know, or inside of you, you are feeling upset, you are feeling um, frustrated. It, it is something that is affecting you you are being affected. But you're not letting this person know that or, sh or you're not showing that to this person because you know how this person operates. You know that this person, if you show them even just a little bit of emotion, they're going to use that against you. The slightest bit of emotion that you show them, they're going to use that against you. 
and they're going they're going to take advantage of it and they're going to see it as a as an opportunity to to regain control over you and i feel like that's what you're trying to avoid you're you're avoiding this person getting any control over you having any control over you okay so i feel like this person um was entertaining some other option or maybe more than one option but it wasn't anything serious it was the purposes was was more to make you jealous to make you feel jealous to worry you i feel like this person was trying to worry you however because you've been in this emperor energy you know this person is changing their strategy because you're not giving them the reaction that they were looking for so they they feel like okay i need to kind of come up with something else um, um virgo's not budging you know virgo's not budging virgo's not um reacting i need to switch things up here That's what they're thinking. I need to switch things up. I need to switch up my energy. So I feel like this person is thinking about coming towards you with a lot more, with a much more um, emotional, vulnerable energy. To show you a lot, to show you a much more emotional, vulnerable side to them. But with the six of wands here, four of pentacles, you know, it's it's a strategy. It's a strategy. It's not that they really, it's not really coming from their heart, you know. It's not that they actually want to be vulnerable and emotional with you. They're just kind of um, playing chess, basically, you know. They're playing chess here. Oh, Lord, let me take a look. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm, I guess I'm sick. Let me take a look at you, Virgo. See what your energy is currently. Spirit angels and guys, show me Virgo's energy or show me Virgo's feelings and energy towards this person currently. Virgo, what are Virgo's feelings? What is Virgo's energy towards this person currently? Thank you, Spirit. King of Swords and the Chariot and the Five of Cups. King of Swords and the Chariot and the Five of Cups. Now you're kind of fed up with this person. That's what it feels like here. Okay, this is a toxic um, relationship. I can already see that. This is toxic. You've been in this toxic relationship for a while, it seems, with the Five of Cups, um, where it's very on and, on and off, on and off, back and forth. Um, it also feels kind of like a, a breakup makeup, breakup makeup energy here. You two break up, then make up, then break up again, then make up again, you know? But it's like, it's it's always the same situation that breaks you two apart, basically, you know? I feel like, I feel like there's a repetitive cycle here. Or a repetitive issue between you and this person. <coughs> yeah, and you're definitely getting tired of it. I want to clarify your energy here. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Chariot in Virgo's energy spirit. And feelings towards this person. 
Why the King of Swords in the Chariot? The Fool. Yeah, you're in this energy of, I don't want to be bothered anymore. I don't, I don't want to be bothered anymore with this person, with this situation, with this relationship. I just want this person to get out of my life. They're not my problem anybody, sorry, they're not my problem anymore, they're somebody else's problem. That's what I feel like you're saying here. They're not my problem anymore, they're somebody else's problem. Like, let somebody else handle them, I'm not gonna, and deal with them, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to deal with them anymore. They, they've hurt me and disappointed me too many times. You look like you're ready for something new, you know? You look like you're ready for... I don't know if you want to be... You just want to be independent, though. Like, on your own. At this time. Let me look at that. Tell me about the full spirit in Virgo's energy. What is Virgo currently wanting and desiring here in regards to love? Tell me about the fool. Ooh, three of cups. You want to meet new people. Interesting. Great. Yeah, you want to meet new people. That's what you want. I like that. Anything else? King of Pentacles, you want to focus on your money, your career, your work, your personal stability, your personal success, your business, if you have a business. You want to, you want to focus on that and you also want to focus on just meeting new people and you know, keeping your options open, exploring your options. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and take a look at that since that's your energy. Let me close this person out here. King of Swords, the Chariot, and the Five of Cups is your feelings. Let's take a look at what this person is going to be doing towards you moving forward. <clears throat> so I can close that out. Some of you already are connecting to someone new. With the Fool and the Three of Cups, some of you might already be um, getting to know someone new or talking to someone new. We'll see. All right, let's look at this person so I can get rid of them. Um, this one, okay. What are this person's intentions currently with Virgo spirit? What are this person's current intentions with Virgo? What are their current intentions with Virgo? Uh, the Knight of Cups, yeah, they wanna win you back. They wanna win your heart back with the Knight of Cups. That's their current intention. I told you they want to be, they want to be a lot more emotional and uh, vulnerable with you. They want to be more expressive of their emotions here. They want to get back on good terms with you. They wanna, they wanna like recreate that emotional connection with you. All right. That's their intention. Honestly, I feel like it's too late though. Like your energy is like out of here. You're, like you're gone. Feels like you're gone. Or like you're just, I don't know, you're gone or you're just, you're just not willing to deal with this person anymore. You're fed up. Um, what actions will this person take towards Virgo, moving forward, what actions will they take? 
Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person's still going to be wishy-washy. I already told you that. Wishy-washy, fickle, someone um, playing the field. So they are going to come towards you with this um, expression of emotion, but this is someone who still doesn't know what they want. They're still confused about if they... What are they confused about, Spirit? What's the Seven of Cups? What are they confused about? Yeah, they're still confused if they want to settle down um, with someone or not, with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is someone who's committed, someone who's loyal, stable. They're not sure if they want to settle down or if they just want to keep being a traveler. Knight of Cup, Knight of um, Pentacles is like a traveler. So they haven't figured themselves out yet. I feel like this is just going to be a, another repeated cycle, you know, if you, if you allow it, Virgo, you know. This is someone who's still very much emotionally immature okay you know this already it looks like you you're you're aware <coughs> you've already experienced this person's you know cycles already so you already know what to expect and i feel like you're getting off the merry-go-round this time you know or the what do you call that wheel? The Ferris wheel. <coughs> You're getting off the Ferris wheel. All right, we're gonna let's take a look now at um, something new for you. So expect this person to come back around though, okay? Um. I'm going to look at this Three of Cups, Fool, and King of Pentacles. Spirit, what can I expect? What can Virgo expect um, in regards to new love and new relationships? Five of Cups is here. Ace of Pentacles. King of Cups. Is that? Did this person show up as King of Cups? Yeah, he did. Okay. I see. Tell me more. Four of Pentacles. Oh, I see. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, Five of Swords, Death Card. Interesting. The Moon, Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Empress. Yeah, so nothing um, new here, um, Virgo. All right, so you're going to be embracing basically just um, being on your own. So, okay, career is going to take... Um, your main priority it's going to become your main priority you're not going to have time basically for for other people and other situations other relationships because your time is going to be consumed um, on yourself and on your career your work your finances your personal because you it looks like you have a lot of ambition here your energy feels ambitious it feels like you have um a lot of things that you want to achieve and that you want to manifest for yourself. I feel like that's really what is your main priority is, you know, elevating yourself and being more successful in, in your own personal life. So while you might talk to new people, 
you're not, it's not going to go to that next level. And it's because of you. You're not going to allow it to go to that next level because you just want to be focused on yourself more, more than anything. Okay. And this past person is going to be in your lingering in your energy here. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Look at that. Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Empress. This person is going to keep making attempts to reconnect with you and reconcile with you because they're just not willing or able to accept this ending between you two. The Death card and the Moon card. This person feels too attached to you. They've created um, a, a codependency energy here with you. Yeah, there's a codependency here. So this person is going to, they're, they're seeing it as a challenge. They're, because the thing is that they're not being successful with other options. And the reason why they're not being successful with other options is because they don't want anybody else. They keep showing up with the King of Cups energy. Like, look at that. Here, here they are again, King of Cups. This is the second time they show up as the King of Cups. So they don't really want anybody else. They're not really interested in anybody else. You're the one that really has, you know, stole their heart. Yeah. They didn't expect to to fall for you, but it's too late. They they've fallen for you and now they can't get, you know, they can't get rid of you. In in regards to like they they keep thinking about you and they keep even when they're with other people, you know, even when they're socializing with other people, all they all they think about is how they wish they could be with you instead of whoever they're socializing with, you know? And the thing is that I feel like this separation is just, it's just causing them to want you more. You know, it's just causing them to, to desire you even more than, than anything that they, than any amount of desire they had for you in the past, you know? It's a lot greater. It's a lot stronger now. Because I feel like this person likes a challenge. And they like people that are, that, that to them are playing hard to get. You're not playing hard to get. You're, you're not doing that. That's not what you're doing at all. But that's how this person sees it, you know. They see it as, oh, Virgo's playing hard to get. Virgo's trying to challenge me. Virgo's testing me. You're not testing them. You're not testing them. You're, you're way past that. You're way past all of that, you know? You've, you've detached from them, but they haven't detached from you, and they're going to keep looking for ways to reconnect with you. They might, they might disappear for a little while, you know, but they'll pop up. They'll pop back up again. And you, I don't see you really... Um, there's no real new love here showing up for you, but I feel like it's because of you. You're just focused on, on yourself and on, on, on your personal success and your personal stability and, you know, manifesting the things that you want for yourself and achieving new goals. And it feels really good. It feels like you're going to have a lot of abundance and, and prosperity. Like, it looks like you're... What do you call that like you're you're walking towards the top like you're climbing the ladder you're um you're elevating you're walking up to the top of the mountain you know it almost feels like the world is yours like you can have like you have full um, access to anything you want to do in the world, you know? 
Mm -hmm. Like the sky is the sky is the limit. Like you have tons of opportunities here that are available for you. You might even get overwhelmed with how how many up how much how many opportunities are available to you and how much you can do at this time. Okay, so Virgo, it looks really good. Um, I, I'm really happy for you. I feel like you're, um, I don't know, I feel like your vibration is just really high. Like you're really um, increasing your, your vibration in a really positive way and, and in a really beautiful way. So that's what I have for you here, Virgo. I hope this reading helped you in some way and I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.